Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Uh, a special morning edition of the Duck morning Call Room. Morning edition. Which are actually my favorite ones because I've been up since Beth brings chicken biscuits. So yeah. well, when we have to record in the morning. You I've been up eat since a chicken four, biscuit. which is wild for me. I just woke up and I was like, what am I going to do? Well, good for you. Just stayed away. But I didn't eat the chicken biscuit. I need to lose a little weight. And you know I'm on them factory meals. Yeah. Well, they're good. And I've got, look, I've already got my uh, jalapeno lime cheddar chicken sitting, waiting for me back at work. I'm going to eat oh. that for lunch. Not going to do a lot. Even though it is the Lord's chicken, I'm not eating that. I'm eating a factor meal. Yeah, I'll do it every day. Well, good. I'm going to warm up my spicy poblano beef bowl, call it good. But look, with factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleanup, too. While still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need, you can get 50% off with code DUCK50 at factormeals.com slash DUCK50. Give it a whirl. It's awesome. You'll be glad you did. Do it. And do it. But this yeah. is a breakfast episode. It is breakfast. Yeah, I don't it's, know why I woke up so early. When's the last time you woke up at 4 o'clock for anything? I've been doing it a lot lately. I like go to bed early. I'm waking. I, I don't know. Wow, it's almost uh, like you're an adult. Uh, it's uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, yeah. It's almost like you. <laughs> like you I mean, I woke up this morning, just got a lot, read some Bible, like read you. a little Corinthians, then went and did some other stuff, got some stuff done, got breakfast made for my children, got out the door. Put a brand new shirt on. Put a brand new shirt on. I si, went, si spilled his chicken biscuit on his shirt. So, right. I mean, if you're watching this. Like, Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> at at cheese kind of kind of fella. sloppy, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. That's Whatever the- it was, it was really good. Because <laughs> I got it all over me. And it missed the beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that wasn't from this morning either. I, like, as, as the first, as close to, as closest to the pin here, that's not, that's that's been there for a minute. That's what happens when you get in a rush, boys. Yeah. Uh, go somewhere. I love yeah, it. Look, uh, early mornings, unless uh, it's duck cutting, early mornings ain't Cy Robertson's yeah, thing. Yeah. Let's nah. not kid ourselves. Nah. If it, if it um, is duck hunting, are they? <laughs> But look, okay. you need to know. Last episode, we talked a little bit about the blind. The blind. Know, Corey, Willie, and Zach produced the movie, and this is really the family's true story. The hard stuff, good stuff, and all the stuff in between. Look, they didn't sign the rights away to a big studio. This is all independent. They poured their blood, sweat, and tears in it themselves. So it needs a little, a little help on on making sure it gets enough theaters booked. So we have a little right. inside information. Apparently, there are theaters that think the independent movie, like The Blind. Won't sell as many tickets as a Hollywood movie. We have nothing against big budget movies because they're good and they're fun to watch. Yeah. But we want everyone to do well. But this movie, The Blind, is really going to change people's lives. And we want to show the entertainment industry that there's an audience for this kind of movie. So what we need you to do is go buy your tickets right now for release on September 28th. And if you know someone who needs to hear that it's not too late to turn their life, turn their life around, take them with you. Take them with you. Theaters are in the process of making their final decisions right now about whether to show The Blind. So we need you to go to theblindmovie.com and buy your tickets today. And you look, look at that guy. <laughs> look at that. Oh, but look at that Mallard Drake. Uh, like, oh, look, I shot him, not you. Yeah. Anyway. Allegedly. JD said, hey, he nailed but, him, boys. Nailed him. Look, I'm just glad that my face didn't have to be in the movie, but that my ducks were. So that makes I me, prefer my face to be in the movie. Let's be honest. That makes me happy. My ducks weren't going to be in the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Look, look, there's Cy. That's a young Cy right there. But it is interesting. And like yesterday, we did a deal for uh, our camo partners at Realtree. And, you know, kind of like Cy was a little tardy this morning. Phil was yeah. mega late yeah, yesterday. I pulled, what I was pulled, he doing? I pulled a Phil on y'all this morning. Yeah, but the difference is, like, we know you love to sleep. And it's not hunting season. Phil Robertson has never yeah. once been nah. late for anything. I've known him for almost 20 years now. Yeah. I've never waited on Phil Robertson for anything. What was he doing? Usually, and he don't wait on you. He yeah. says, I'll give you a, I was thinking, I'll hey, give a man a minute. You know? Hey, yeah. He said, I might wait like, oh, a minute. Yeah. Hey, but if you, I said five o'clock, you better be there at five or I'm gone. And not, oh, not be there at five, five. Yeah, dressed yeah. at five, yeah. ready yeah. to go yeah. at five. Because he's yeah. gone at 10 till five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, <laughs> but no, it was just, uh, Phil just was sleeping. He was just sleeping. sleeping. Yeah. And, uh, What's funny is I was supposed to show up at 10. He so, was there at 9.15. No, they got there at the exact same time. Not, Phil was supposed to be there at 9. He showed up at 9.45. Cy was supposed to be there at 10. He showed up at like 9.43. Cy si beat him by about two minutes. Cy si yeah. that military time now. But it was, I'm always early. But it was fun because 
you don't get the opportunity. I mean, we do duck hunting a lot, but these, you know, two guys, two brothers that have done everything in the duck hunting world had to offer, got to sit down and just kind of rap about duck hunting a little bit. It was, pretty, I was pretty. actually glad to be like a fly on the wall in there. I mean, as many times as I get to see it, I try to not take them for granted. But when you hear Phil inside talk about the crap they used to do duck hunting, mm. I mean, as mad as I've ever been at them, I ain't ever been as mad as them two boys were at them. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. They talking about building a blind seventy foot up in a tree. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Not happening. Hey, that would sleep four men comfortably. Yeah. Comfortably. Yeah. Shooting okay. down. Look, on we duck. would go in there like it's if open Saturday. We would go in Friday night. And stay till Monday morning. Hey, and stay till Monday morning. I mean, that's crazy. But all weekend, never come down. We'd that, eat steak, whatever, you know. That's mad. That's cool. Was that fun? Hey. Absolutely. Well, fun. Look, <laughs> uh, here's the thing. This this is built in the highest cypress tree in the swamp. Nope. And it was in the tip top. <laughs> nope. Okay. It was a hotel. It was like a space. It was no. like the, it was like the restaurant on the space needle. No, no, I'm that's serious. Right. Yeah. It, it was, was like a hotel. Was, was like downtown uh, New Orleans, the yeah. one that circles. Yeah. yeah. It was just like yeah. that. The coolest thing that ever happened to me in that blind, I went in there, we done done the same thing, went in there Friday, climbed up in it, and, and you know, Saturday morning, okay, there was fog. Well, okay, look, that blind was above the fog. <laughs> That's how high they were. That's how high, look. No. I'm serious. Look, and I look over there, and here comes 25 wood ducks, and they didn't look, they didn't look like they were flying. They looked like they was just floating, Okay. Just above the just the above this fog. I'm trying to figure out hey, where they were at. Yeah, yo, hey, that, we just all raised up just for bail, bail, bail three times. Each. I have yep. many questions. <laughs> How do you get in that blind? Huh? Homemade ladder. Homemade ladder, fourteen foot. Okay, look. Fourteen foot sections. Fourteen foot sections. And we like the loss demand building it. <laughs> okay, because look, we put three ladders up, you know, and we was tired, you know. And it was lunchtime, so we ate lunch, and we had just set the fourth ladder up, and we didn't bolt it down. So Maurice Greer, and this guy weighs about 275. He's, he played football with Phil. Yeah, he was Phil a said he's a tight end or yeah. whatever. Well, yeah, a big, tight end. Big. I, always, I always wanted to line him yeah. because he was so big. But yeah. anyway, him and Tommy, you know, Maurice was uh, up well, first man up. Tommy was under him, and they was going, and he Maurice grabbed it, and look, he was going back with the ladder. And look, hey, this this is a ladder with made out of two by sixes. Heavy. Heavy. Okay. Two by sixes treated, and nails. Yeah. <laughs> tre- yeah, yeah. Treated lumber. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> look, he starts falling back. Tommy just put his shoulder in his rear end, and for about oh a minute, it was uh oh. Balancing that. <laughs> yeah. It was just like this, and then he finally done like that. Yo, know, and because if he'd have fell, hey, all it is under that cypress tree, cypress me sticking up. And what Si what Si ain't telling is if you don't know Tommy, Tommy was like a safety on the football team. Oh, he yeah. wasn't a yeah. big fella. Yeah, he but, wasn't uh, a big fella. But okay. strong. Yeah. That old rat yeah. I mean, yeah. for me knowing him as an old man. Oh, yeah. Strong yeah. as an old man. Yeah. I, was, I, and, uh, I hate that this podcast wasn't around when Tommy was yeah. still around. And, wor- right. and a workaholic. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Work circles around oh, yeah. anybody. Yeah, he's still workaholic. You know, he's he, probably, he did it to the day he died. And I can tell you this right now. He's up there in heaven, and Jesus done put him on a construction crew at a mansion. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he I, just I, he I just know. steady working. And get he ain't going to sit there. That's Tommy, mean, the, the word relax wasn't in Tommy Robertson's oh. vocabulary. They should have put this blind in the movie The Blind. Yeah, I'd like to see yeah. them well, cats. Hey, I'd like well, to see them cats climb up hey, there. I, I was one of them cats, and we wouldn't. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they should I got have, a picture of someone, it on my phone. Someone, I won't mention them. Hey, Barnum, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. One, yeah, Barnum, the one in B Break. That I got was that a big one. Of it. Okay, and then burnt the one in Moss Lake. Is in Bussy? Uh, no, it was uh, off the river. Uh, no, that's, that's Moss Lake. Up there north of Hale and Marion. H a i l e, not H a l. I say I wouldn't have got in it. But I mean, oh, no, I, you would have. I'd had a lot of ropes. You would. I would have been way safer oh, no. than your boy oh, yeah, over no. here. Hey. Yeah, I'd I would have had to have seen what it was like. I'd have oh. needed four hundred safety systems yeah. tied together before I climbed a here, homemade ladder up a seventy yeah. foot. Yeah, I don't know if it was like seventy or eighty feet, but here, here's the thing: 
You could take a Browning 12 gauge shotgun with any shot you wanted, twos, whatever, okay? Let a Mallard Drake light directly under you in the decoys. And he could not kill And him? could not kill him. <laughs> you just cripple him. You cripple him. He'd swim off. Yeah. Now, you could do it today with today's shells. Yeah. But back in them days when they were trying yeah. to figure out yeah. steel shot and all yeah. that. Mm -mm. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. No. You'd shoot him with a full load in the back. Right. <laughs> You know, mm. down on top of him, okay? And, hey, he had swum off. I have time. so many questions. Yeah. How, how did you retrieve him? Huh? Piro. Piro. Who? And then climb back? Oh, yeah. They were all yeah. athletes. That's like, a, you, you oh, talk yeah. about field scale, 70 foot of ladder, no problem. That's oh, no, no. Hey, look, you got to understand, this was back in the days when they was playing football. Yeah. Okay. As, this yeah. is while he was on the football team. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, while okay. he was playing quarterback well phil tommy and si even i mean si probably the least athletic of the brothers that, oh, yeah. I, i'm just saying but, no, no. I, well i mean not, not least athletic why i was just too little there you go the small but i'm I was saying too light they were all like cat squirrels back in oh, yeah. they could climb anything they'd oh, yeah. be they'd be down in that boat so fast it'd make oh. your head spin oh. like that's amazing i mean them, them boys were a lot of things and they they were they were mad at them and skilled at what they do. Oh, no. Like and so getting them wasn't the problem. And like, fair and fairly decent shots. Yeah, decent. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Just <a> decent. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hey, that but, was back in the day when you. when uh, the Mallards actually migrated send it, send down it to here. John David. Show show John David just how high up that thing is. Well, the Mallards came, but there also wasn't food from end to end for yep, them so yeah. they had to come to yeah, eat and survive yeah, like yeah. the state of arkansas wasn't one big rice prairie then well we got becky waiting in the wings let's get her in here take a break and we'll be back right after this some people have becky others of you need bambi yep so, hey <laughs> that's hey, that true kind of rhymes that did stick, rhyme. with, the, uh, stick with the bees baby. oh man look i'm telling you right now if you don't have an office becky you need Bam, bambi is the place for you that so, is the place you need I'm, somebody running all that stuff you need somebody that can do all the weird stuff and all the good stuff well, that nobody knows how to do that's exactly right And when you're running a business your employees can create all kinds of interesting situations Hmm. We have oh, an interesting that, situation just sitting right, right here. Says yeah. the man who was 30 minutes late and shows up wearing a shirt that yeah. my kids ate in last night. You're going to hear it from HR. <laughs> it was good, boys. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Both like, times. Com like complaints because someone on the team always smells horrible? We don't get those mm. complaints. That's just no, that's part of it. That's because Phil don't come to the office anymore. Or dealing with somebody who doesn't show up on time. Look, if you have these problems, you better talk to Bambi. Would Bambi get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting at just $99 per month? Look, take my word for it. If somebody oversees payroll and all that, that's a lot cheaper than you can pay somebody to do it. it. They're available by phone, email, and real-time chat, so onboarding and terminations run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance, and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. Look, your manager, they say they give you a dedicated HR manager. They do. They're a U.S.-based person dedicated to your business, giving you access to the HR expertise and personal touch you need, all based right here out of the United States. HR managers can easily cost eighty grand a year, but Bambi starts at just $99 per month. Schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. All you got to do is go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast when you sign up. It will really help our show. Spelled Bam, B-E-E.com, Bambi.com, and type in Duck Call Room. You think you can beat up somebody in the NFL? I still have my doubts. <laughs> He's five six and I'm and one hundred and fifty pounds. And I was that in junior high. Oh, that's fine. So like Chad Mendez that oh. fights in the UFC is like five nah, five seven nah, one forty. You, you that's think a different you? Different look. I mean, that's you think look. you think you got him? Like, <laughs> see, look, even hey, Becky's, Becky's here. Okay, <laughs> Becky's in the house. We're moving on. <laughs> Go Saints and your new twelve year old kicker. I follow him on Instagram. Anyway. Becky's in the house, and we're excited to have her. Hey, because Becky, do I have something on your desk? No. <laughs> Not today. Uh, Does that get annoying, Becky, that uh, people only come to you for money? That's the only reason they like That's me. The That's not true. true. That's not true. I spend half of my day in the office, generally either in Becky's office or she's in my office. So we, we work. 
we work hand in hand together and we're like the two that's been here the longest so we're the only two that know each other's gripes with things around here so <laughs> godwin's we, been here well i know but he's not in our office oh he's down so the hall he's he's down the street down the street yeah he down the street about i don't know if we're allowed mile. to say that oh i'm fine with it <laughs> It doesn't matter. We have two warehouses. But thank y'all for the comments. Look, I told y'all, if y'all would be nice, that we could get some employees in. So we're going to introduce everybody at some point. Maybe not Harry. He still seems to be. That's some bad uh, hat, Harry. Yeah. He's holding out. He seems to be strongly against coming in here. Um, Harry How many words he'd say, though? Well, it doesn't matter. Everything that comes out of Harry's mouth is is Pure wisdom. gold. It really is. And now that he's close to retirement, he's done got lippy. <laughs> ah. And he, he doesn't take nothing off nobody anymore. Does he, he used, not? No, he used to just hey. smile and walk away. Now he just... He lets her fly, baby. Oh, man. I, I yeah. hate that. What I've you going to do now? No. I hate that I've missed this version of Harry. So, Becky, welcome. How, how, we're, we're just getting, we're letting the fans get to know. How long have you been? At Duck Commander now? Started in 2007. Wow. Good, good. I thought it was earlier than that. Nope. I was Willie's first hire after he took over Duck Commander. Which first happened one, in 2006. So you were the first. I guess I was technically probably like the second. Yeah, you were right after <laughs> I was you. right. I wasn't long because me and Becky used to share a wall in <laughs> Willie's old house. Okay. Um, and so I could hear she was doing all the billing and accounting and sa- and I was next door doing sales. So we were, she could hear everything that I got committed to. So it was fantastic. <laughs> the only difference was she was getting paid. <laughs> That's true. Allegedly. Yeah. It depends was, on what week it was. <laughs> in turn. In turn. <laughs> uh, That's so funny. 2007. So that's 16 years, Becky. That's yeah. that's crazy considering you're only 31. That's true. That's that is true. Amazing, I mean, I don't, you've worked here half your life. <laughs> that's that's right. That's amazing. No, Becky is the... Uh, what is your title besides just... Uh, office mom. Over all things. She's office mom. Yeah, and I've been doing sales and licensing and bookkeeping and... Everything. Over all things. Whatever they ask me. Yeah. Huh. Becky's Becky, over all things. Yeah, she's the Swiss Army knife of the office. Like, yeah. if they have something come up, they just dump it in her lap. Hey, Becky... Uh, that's I've heard that before. Yeah, I was across the hall from Becky for forever, and yeah. we're both really loud people, so not a lot of work got done. Yeah, Becky is so loud. Listen to her. You know what my favorite Becky story is? Go ahead. Way back in the day, way back in the day, uh, I grew up around the corner from Becky basically, and one night my parents went on like a date, and like a tornado and a hailstorm came through and nearly <laughs> took our house and threw it into a lake somewhere. And my sister and me were crying because we were at home alone. And my parents called Becky. And here comes Becky and Wayne to the rescue (laughs) in the hail. Because my sister was, like, ready to run and, like, leave the house. So Becky and Wayne saved me. Saved my life that night. We wouldn't have made it in our house alone. We did. Do you remember that? I do. I've forgotten until you said that. Now, see, I would feel so secure if I looked out and saw Becky coming to my house. Wayne? (laughs) Wayne would scare me. Wait, well, like, I went as, over a, as a small as a, sma- as a small child, Wayne. I mean, Wayne is just so. I can what, see that. What's the look on his face? It's it's, and I love Wayne. It's he is a, one of my favorite a, people. I, one of my scowl. favorite things is every Friday they eat lunch together. At least every Friday right. they eat lunch together. And Wayne is at this office or sitting in that parking lot at ten thirty. <laughs> Wayne's a creature of habit. He he mm-hmm. gets they have brunch, we have brunch every Friday. Like and it it but when he walks in, I try to give him a hug because I know how very uncomfortable <laughs> it makes Wayne for another male to hug him. Wayne loves hugging. No, no. not at all. And, and Wayne used to go every day and put five dollars of gas in his truck, right? He used to, yeah. That's when we didn't have any money. <laughs> that's when Duck Commander was poor. Yeah. You you could leave the neighborhood behind Wayne and he was stopping every day. Five dollar bill, put five it's actually a great system. Is it? Yeah. When you think about it, you just know. Like five, like you never like gonna run out of gas. You got five. You you got the day's gas every day. The problem is five dollars of gas now won't get well, you to the yeah, gas this, station. This was back when that was back, back in the nineteen hundreds. That yeah. was back when you could get around on five dollars. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wayne um, is a creature. Of I I can't believe that's your favorite Becky story because my favorite. Becky, she saved my gosh. life. Well, my favorite. <laughs> the alarms Becky's- were going off. There was hail. It was. I was scared to death, and my mom and dad were like, deal with it. And then here came Becky, and we were like, thank God Becky's here. (laughs) And we went and stayed at her house. That's right. So my favorite Becky story is when she tried to make Corey's office a drive-thru. Oh, my gosh. Uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> Becky, I don't know oh, if you know no. this, but this show. I can't believe y'all are telling me. <laughs> is on, no, we're showing it, Becky. This show is oh, on no. YouTube. Are you really? Uh, oh, I, I feel well, bad because I just don't the have that safety feature for up. that new car. So I showed up. Becky has a brand new car, right? She oh, gets a brand heart. new rig. And I show up one morning because Becky's generally, me, Becky, and Harry are like one, two, and three on arriving at the office just about every day. And I, I pull up and I see Wayne here and I'm like, this is weird. So then I walk into the warehouse and I see light coming through the warehouse. And I'm like, what in the, and then I notice Becky's car is now parked in the warehouse where there used to be a wall. And we do have it on security camera video somewhere. Oh, Johnny. do we? Oh, oh no. So, uh, of course, after we made sure that Becky was okay. Yeah, this is one that you. Priority one was to make sure that she was okay. The next priority was, I wonder if our security cameras got this. And, yeah. you know, this is one you keep on hand. And, you know, my favorite part is at the time, the guy over our security footage is Becky's son. That's yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a family business, not just Robertson's necessarily. Yeah. So, T Mac. So Tim Taylor, Mac. her son, works here, and here, here goes. goes. Oh, hold on. At this point, Becky, what are you thinking? That you're pressing the brakes? I'm, I'm thinking I'm pressing the brakes, and it's not stopping. And so then I press on the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> and we hit hard. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Right. <laughs> Look at Beth. Beth's <laughs> never seen this before. Right into Corey. If Corey had been sitting there, it would have hurt her. Yeah. It would have uh, been bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have killed her, but it would have messed well, her Well, when they sold her the car, they told her, this is the safest car in America. <laughs> so Becky says, all right. I'm gonna test it. Let's yeah. see. Oh man, that was so. That <laughs> she even made oh a barnyard swing in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but we've got the date and the Whoa. time. She had to gas it to get over it. Wow, that's already been eight years ago. <laughs> that was eight years ago, yeah. and let's just be honest. Holy cow! I sw I would have said this was like three years ago. No. How has that already been eight years? Eight yeah. years. Time flies oh when you're gosh. having fun, Martin. Wow, that's unbelievable. But but the thing is, the times were stressful. Up here in those days. Yes, they were. And Becky's the first one here wondering where we're all at, not doing our jobs because she's over all the yeah, things. Nobody's here. And that morning I'm, she just said, well, I'm going to press the brakes. And Yeah. All brakes, no gas. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that something was wrong with the car. Well, I, boy, you're I saying gas is your friend. Yeah, the gas is your friend. Gas but is your friend. <laughs> look at this. This this Great parking job. I mean, you nailed that parking spot, but then you just kept going. Right over it. <laughs> Boy. The favorite part is Becky's office is was at that time like ten feet from right, right there. It was yeah. just on this side of that little concrete well, she wanted pad. She wanted to know where to get in there. She well, said, and Corey uh, can push anybody to the brink, so she <laughs> thought, you know what? If she's in there, so be it. Yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> I got a back door to my office. I feel bad because I didn't know we were going to bring this up, but I. Dude just happened to have that video pretty much on standby. <laughs> How can we not bring that? Well, you know I mean, why she did that is because uh, before that. We went to Texas Motor Speedway, and mm. oh, that probably was drove like a race car. I did drive. Oh, yes. And that would have been like 2015, too. Yeah. 2014, I forgot 2015. we did that. Yeah. That was pretty fun. You forgot that? Yes. Good grief. <laughs> Becky brought the Richard Petty experience on oh, back to the yeah. office. <laughs> That's fantastic. Is that what y'all did, the Richard Petty thing? No, nah, it was Our, Texas Motor Speedway deal. And you did. drove? Yes. 10 yeah. laps? 10 yes. laps. Yes, it was fun. Becky's was. daredevil. So she said, I got NASCAR down. Let's go yeah. for demolition derby. No, she was flying, too. Yeah. I, take I was I thinking, boy, I hope I go that fast. Uh, we can laugh about it now because she was fine and she everything She definitely was, was fine. fine. Look. Look at her popping a wheelie. I wouldn't have brought this oh. up had it been like. Yesterday? No, it, had Becky not been okay. Like if this oh, would have yeah. taken some recovery. Oh, we yeah. would have. We would have. But the only recovery was her having to deal with us watching yeah. this and laughing in every office for like the next two months. Yeah. yeah. And having uh, to see this video over. My son sent this to everybody, I think. Yeah. To show them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely Taylor. It's Taylor's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been me. I don't remember. <laughs> you walk in. Uh, watch that grill. Me. Wop. Got the grill, too. Yeah. You know, the funniest thing was Jay Stone was here, and he heard it, mm -hmm. which Jay Stone is not the most affectionate person, <laughs> but I was crying. Like, I, and he was like, okay, it's yeah. going to be okay. They're, they're there. Barely they're there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky. <laughs>
That's uh, funny. Yeah, it's that's found an affection. <laughs> Man, alive. That's good stuff. Becky, you want to hang around for another segment? We already got this out of the way. Oh, so. yeah. yeah if, can't, if, there's no more embarrassing videos I have. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't yeah. think. <laughs> uh, but we've got more Becky stories. Becky's this sister is, works here, too. Yeah. yeah. My sister works here, too. See? It is a family business. Family See? Becky's yep. just trying to. And you got to be nice to her, too. Or... Yeah. She pays all the bills. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll have Christy in here at some point. So <laughs> don't worry. But Christy hasn't driven through any walls, though. No. no, but let's take a break. We'll you be back that. right after this. He's running a little tardy this morning. What was your head resting on? Well, hey, look, I was on that 2.0, boy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's hard. Hey. Uh, yeah, you know, it's hard to unhug it. <laughs> all right. I obviously. Got, I got somewhere to go. The he's, man's talking about the MyPillow 2.0 and the rest of the MyPillow products he's, that we he's all. He's surrounded by MyPillow in his bed. He's he, in the sheets. He's in the pillows. That's he it. came in. All and of it. And his towels and his slippers because he came straight from bed <laughs> and he was getting dressed in that corner yeah. over there he got it all oh they oh, got it all man. and oh. right now look the folks over at my pillow are celebrating their 20 year anniversary and mike lindell and the my pillow employees want to thank each and every one of you by giving you the lowest price in history on their my pillows right the queen size my pillow are regularly 69.98 right now they're 19.98 that's 50 dollars off nice. people oh, that's a deal I mean, and for ten dollars more, you can get the king size. So, uh -oh. like, outfit your whole house. That's what I mean. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Because all you have to do is go to mypillow.com, click on the radio podcast square to get Mike's amazing offer on the queen size my pillow for only nineteen ninety eight. Or you can call eight hundred nine six nine three one three seven and use promo code Duck. My pillow's patented fill adjust to your exact individual needs to help you get the best sleep ever. That's why it's called my pillow, not your pillow, his pillow, their pillow. It's my pillow for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. Look, and in addition to the special anniversary offer on my pillows, you can also receive deep discounts on all my pillow products, such as the sheets, the pet beds, the slippers, so much more winter's coming guys. Go ahead. Get you woman a new pair of slippers. They're fantastic. Right. They're, she is uh, going to love it. You're going to be thankful. And part of your Christmas shopping's already done. And oh, it's yeah. the end of August, 1st of September. So little you're ahead of the game. Pillar. Paula likes that little travel pillar. She'll curl up and go to bed. She does while I'm driving. There you go. See, that's perfect. Look, so right now. They got everything. Take advantage of the biggest sale in MyPillow's history. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK to take advantage of Mike's special offer on his MyPillow. That's MyPillow.com, promo code DUCK, or call 800-969-3137. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we're back. Becky's still here. Becky's still here. Cause si still here. Stuck Where's Sai? Si? I think he's locked in the bathroom. I don't know. He had to he's get up and run out. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, hey. Okay, boy. The man's 75. I don't question when he's got to get up and leave. Hey, so. let me tell you. It it takes longer than it used to. Well, elaborate, Gavin. What takes longer? I don't want to elaborate. I'm Anyways. Now, I, and that was... In fairness, that was like the funniest Becky story, <laughs> the 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 jumping through the deal. Mm -hmm. But you you know, I, she's the office mom essentially. Uh, like true. all the all the folks go. To, my my kids will refer to her as Mamaw Becky once they can start talking. <laughs> Your kids and you. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I, I do too. But that's just for funsies. But um, now hey. Becky did something really stinking cool that. You, you've got to know what I'm talking about. You, I don't know. You gave up a kidney for your husband. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what are you? Doing? That's a big one. You that, really like him, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a part of me forever now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that is stinking cool. Like, not to go too far into Wayne's deal, but I mean, he's a diabetic, was going through kidney failure. They happened to do the blood work, and husband and wife were a match. That's crazy. Great. Right. So, yeah. did it hurt? It hurt very bad. Yes, <laughs> it was a very miserable time. So, I mean, I think that is really, really, really cool. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I don't, Brittany. I don't, oh wait, oh, well, now, now we're I mean, opening up another camera. I mean, I'm yeah. just saying, man. it's okay. Brittany doesn't listen. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like that's a that's a level. Hey, we're a match, and I'm going to give you my kidney. Like that's that's big time. How long have you and Wayne been married? We were we've been married forty three years. Forty three years. And by year, you know, That's thirty, you'll probably impressive. be into giving Brittany a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know that she would give me. At one, year twelve, though. would you have given Wayne a kidney? 
Probably. Okay, never mind. Probably. Yeah, she's a giving yeah. person. Yeah, she's a giving person. She is. Now, if, I, if I knew what I know now, maybe. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's not going to listen. Do yeah. you? Do you regret it? No, I'm just kidding. No, no. Not at all. No, because when they did it, they actually found out something wrong with Becky. So like, yeah, we kind of we kind of saved each other's lives in the middle of when they found when we they decided we were a match. They found that I had a tumor in my kidney. So. In the process of all that, they they thought that they could take my kidney out, remove the tumor, and still give it to Wayne, and it's better than what he had now. And so yesterday, we went for our two-year checkup, and we we're both great, and I'm done for... <laughs> Yay. So, yeah. See? That was a great... Yeah, I wouldn't go a back great love to the story. either. <laughs> See, that is... That's incredible. That's I'm sorry. That... that I mean, that even like gives me chill bumps. <laughs> That's I mean, crazy. It's incredible because I got to sit here and watch it all transpire. Mm-hmm. Not the surgery, obviously, because I don't let you go on those things. But <laughs> but you would have, you weirdo. I, I really would have. <laughs> yeah, I know you would. And I find it extremely interesting that when they did, Hurt gave Wayne Becky's kidney, that Wayne, instead of like taking one of his out, he's got three now. Three. Yep. That's cool. Right, like Wayne's right. walking around with three and Becky's got one. <laughs> yeah. that cool? Well, it is incredible. You are the only person I know that's like, hey, Becky, you got the DVD? Yeah. And you like want to watch the whole thing back. Well, I'm a nerd, man. I, I just, I find that supremely interesting that the good Lord has got us to a point in technology and knowledge that that even exists. I know. It. Like that that option exists for people. Yeah. That is really cool. To that me. is cool. And that's a lot of times we complain about stuff and, oh, man, just go back to the good old days, but they weren't doing nothing. It needs a pretty <laughs> complex organ, too. Yeah. In the good old days, we'd have been throwing dirt over folks. But you worked with Harry way back before Duck Commander. Yes, I worked for Corey's dad, John Howard, for 20 years before Willie Howard. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> I, I, look, Harry and Becky are important people to me because they worked for, my, I guess, my papa and my mm-hmm. uncle and then worked at Duck Commander, like, if it wasn't for the Harrys and Beckys of the world, I'd be, uh, who knows what I'd be doing? <laughs> hmm. Who knows? Like, really, do we have a clue? No. Because uh, they are the people that kept, you know, Howard Publishing rocking and rolling and Duck Commander rocking and rolling. Oh, during the dynasty, if it hadn't been for them, this place oh, would have just oh imploded. So, implosion. Wild, wild. Yeah. So it was, I mean, we and Becky have traveled together a lot too. So we've gone to shot shows and There's unsung sales, heroes. sales meetings. Uh, me and Becky are the kings of the 430 dinner. <laughs> That's right. All right. Yeah. We'll eat at 430. We'll be in the room by six and we won't see each other <laughs> till 7 a.m. the next morning. Like, at breakfast. Yeah. We are great travel partners. We're not the need. We're not you. We don't feel the need to go explore when you, when you have a long so night in a place. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the streets of America. Yeah. Me and John David have done several races together in, yep. the, in the not south, foot races. The, no, the <laughs> yeah. the Daytona day. Yeah. Hey, you remember Charlotte? You remember mm. that? We went. Charlotte. That was yeah. the night. That was the race that would never end. That's my favorite. Well, race that was ever. the next that night. The oh, we went to the dirt track, <laughs> and she picked. We was picking winners on the dirt track, and she picked every winner. Every winter, and you know what her secret was? What? The color of the car. <laughs> That's right. There you go. <laughs> She's a genius. The uh, problem is you, could, you couldn't bet on them like you could horses. Otherwise, <laughs> Becky could have flown us back private oh, the next man. night when the race would never end. Everyone. Me and Willie did. How would you I do know. that? She said, the car's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, I said, good. Uh, so uh, from, that's a tip for all you dirt racers out there if you're listening. Make your car pretty. Make pretty cars pretty. and you'll win. And you'll win. They go faster. Have Becky pick you. Yeah. And that's Do you it. buy lottery tickets? I do not. I should. You should. I should. No, I Becky. I think about that. Go pick a pretty one. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you'll win. No. Hey, uh, you can buy mine. You can pick me one out and I'll buy it. We'll just I've see. never we'll won the lottery. Yes, you have. We all have. Oh, well, yeah. That's yeah, true. we've. I'm at the state lottery. <laughs> oh, yeah, the actual lottery. Like we've, the, the birth lottery and the life lottery. I just keep hitting on, yeah. and it's just accident after accident. But yeah, um, yeah I was thinking about the actual. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say the numbers. Like, I will say that time y'all were stuck at the never ending race, and I had to go home with Willie. Oh, uh, what was it? The the sky cam fell on the track. Yeah. And Shut her down. The, down Willie yeah. like said the prayer at the beginning of the race, and then you know Willie had somewhere to be, and I had to get Willie there, so we headed on home. 
I was in my bed in West Monroe watching the end of that race while y'all were still there. And I was in a Gosh. suite. Yeah. Waiting on Kevin Harvick to win. I'll never forget because I went to Victory Lane because there were like seven people left there. It was like 1 a.m. Yes, it was. Eastern. You know, sometimes you just got to hit the lottery and be willing to that. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's All take right. a break. We'll get the old man back in here since he finally found his way out of the bathroom. And uh, we'll be back right after this. No. Look at yeah. that. Thing. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Uh-uh. Oh, that's Set it. Look, up in you a barely tree. can't even tell this up there. It's just a dark spot. Yeah. Look that, at that. Thing. That was it? That Look was at that it. Thing. Look it's at that. Oh, you talking about beautiful. You I talk- mean, yeah, but. You talk about climbing up there. That's a climb, son. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And look, you can't even see the ladders. You see the one section right there where the yeah. tree yeah. plays. Right, uh, right there before under it. Yeah. So, yeah. So. But you're talking about beautiful stuff to, to watch. Some morning, as soon as the sunlight, you know, when it was breaking daylight, we look in the buck brush, and here comes ripples, and we can't tell what it is. And look, it was nine river otters. They come swimming out just like like horses, like cow, cowboys. Come swimming out. They went down there at the end of the – this was on Moss Lake. Went to the end of the lake and just started circling. And we was, we was watching and saying, what in the world are they doing? About that time, they, they circled and got so, and then they all hit the middle, and hey, then they come out with about a 30-pound buffalo, went to the bank, and hey, you ain't there to have a lot of the growling, and you know, <laughs> hey, they had a big fight over that buffalo. <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving dinner over oh, there yeah. went wrong. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That is incredible to look well, at. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. just think, but I mean, it, can you imagine the stories that was told? On. On that well, oh. incredible to look at, but he like, was there. just think about, I'm just the marvel of the construction. Yeah. That's why I said oh, no. I ain't ever been that mad. Oh, at. no, no. That was a feat. Yeah. That, that took us about, oh, what? That was uh, BC, about too. Four. That's yeah. what I'm about to say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that that was, was before was, crap. Yeah. yeah. Drug. You, that, you that know how us. much whiskey fell out of that thing? Oh, yeah. Like, that took us about four weekends. Okay, full, you know. It How took did us you, a full month. So you start with the ladder, I'm guessing. Oh, with the ladder, yeah. And then just shimmy and stuff hey. up there? And Well, no, 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 hey, here's the thing. Because ain't nothing y'all ever built been square either. Well, mm. no, no, but hey, Tom, <laughs> Tommy, it, Tommy was the man in Tommy, charge of Tommy makes square? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah he, was you a for, he was the foreman. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he ain't ever made it square. Oh, no, 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 he made it square because hey, he built he built houses for. But uh, I promise you, it was well built. Okay. Yeah. even yeah. if it was square yeah. or not, if yeah. Tom, Tommy it, involved, no, no, it, was, it was it wouldn't go with nowhere. He it was survived. like he was like Mac uh, I mean, mm. Mac Owens. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He actually built houses as a teenager. Yeah, okay. That for, is incredible. Oh, no. oh Tommy oh, was that, a borderline that engineer. That corner oh. has got. Two, what is that, four by four post nailed to that other limb coming yeah. out? Yeah. Yeah, look at it. I is mean, there a bathroom in there? No. Just, no. Is there a hole in the floor? Uh, no, it wasn't even a hole in the floor. You just just go there. to the door. Right. And what the coolest part about this was, okay, is well, he built it in mind, okay, because the sleeping quarters were inside and, and the hunting porch, okay, you had to walk upstairs. And yeah, that's heat, why you see the two levels. Hey, and the height. In the heat, we turned it on, and we just sit out there on the porch, and it had vents coming out behind you. You'd be just toasty on the coldest day. I'm in. I oh, would no. make the climb oh, experience. How many? How many purple tails would build in there oh. after the season? Oh. When you go what in there the next year, <laughs> we'd have to go in there with like ten cans, big, big, big cans of, of wall spray, and de washed it. <laughs> how yeah, many seventy foot up oh. dodging wall? Oh yeah, dodging nope. wall. Ain't no dodging. jumping down. That's ain't why no jumping everybody, off the everybody. Hey, look, we was like we was like a uh, uh, two gun gunslinger. <laughs> we had he can he had. <laughs> How many years did y'all have this? Oh, no, shoot. What? 72 to what? You know, oh, 15 years. Yeah, probably, probably mid 80s. Oh, when wow. they bought yeah. it. From yeah. 70s, 70s to at least eight, middle 80s. Anybody try to come back there? Oh, no. The, uh, 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 who was it? This is I think incredible. it was Harold went up there and said, you know, it made me sick. <laughs> you know, he said, it made me sick what they've done. Yeah. I mean, oh, why y'all was there? People try to, because they hear you shooting, oh, come no, back there? No. They couldn't find no. them. They were oh, hey, on no, the no. ground. Because look how they found this. 
Okay, it was was Tommy was in college. We was all in college, uh, and and uh, they was up there doing something because somebody said, "Hey, I seen some ducks back in the woods back here." So hey, Tommy and Phil and two more football players jumped in that beat up the beetle, beat up your beetle, yeah, and went went. Okay, hey, you had to have a four wheel drive to get in there, a walk, you know. Them beetles were pretty tough. Oh, no. Yo, so, look, they would get stuck, just get out of it, pick it pick up. Pick it up and move hey, it, just, yeah. Hey, four and pick it up and stay it on the dry ground, get back yeah. and say, oh. A side-by-side side today, yeah. heavier than them were. Oh, no. Yeah, because they, uh, yeah, that's how they found it. And they went in there and looked at it, you know, and said, uh, hmm, they found Stove Creek, you know, and said, or Steep Banks. I thought Steep Banks. But anyway, Tom and them said, well, hey, and Phil looked at it and said, hey, we can put, a, put about an eight-foot dump in here in this creek and then we'll see what happened. the whole thing. Oh, no, and look, hey, they put that thing in there, and it rained big time. And, hey, it formed Moss and Fish Lake, <laughs> you know, because all it was was Moss Lake was just a, a wet spot in the ground. Mm, yeah. And the river would come up, you know. Yeah. But, hey. No slew. There was more game and fish and everything when that thing, when we put that dump in there and made it. Then the Corps of Engineers come in there and screwed around with it and just run it. Mm. <laughs> so, well, they did. They rectified it because they come down there all like 10 years later and asked Phil, said, hey, what did you, what, how did y'all exactly do this? And Phil said, hey, <laughs> you know, we put a, just an eight-foot dump. Yeah, on couple, the creek. Couple of men with shovels. Yeah, yeah. But oh no, they hired a uh, 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 cricket tanner. No, but I, I yeah, y'all. He done it with a dozer. He put it in there with a dozer. There you go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, the guy that worked at a uh, sawmill up there. I told y'all I ain't ever been that mad at him. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. It and the visual makes you realize you ain't either. No, I'm not. I'd like to <laughs> sit in there, but I, I, I ain't built. But hey, look, yeah. there was more game. We'd go up there like the the week before uh, season opened brushing the blinds mm -hmm. and and you know just from daylight to dark b break they would just a bunch would come in a circle going down in the hole because what it was it was a 30 foot circle 30 yard circle under that big cypress tree and then it was solid buck brush you know so the cypress tree shaded out the buck brush so oh, there yeah. was nothing that grew under yeah it. nothing then, grew under it yeah Wow. And that was the highest tree in that whole swamp area there. And you were I, high enough to shoot birds that were still migrating. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh, yeah. They shot birds on the flyby. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> that had no hey. intentions of coming yeah. to them. <laughs> they just yeah, fly by. If they come fly by, you just go ahead and kill them. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. No. They were like, oh, we're not well, stopping I, here. We're headed I, to Mexico. No, no. Cold. Hey, you know, here's the thing. They're, it's so high, shoot them up there, and when they hit, it would bust their chest open. Feathers Fussed off. They did mm -hmm. terminal velocity. Oh, no, no, no. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, it was insane now. But you talking about beautiful. Man. Okay, it was hey, it was full of deer. I'd love it to was a, in there. It line. was a great fish hatchery, like when the river come up and yeah. flooded. Yeah. That, coming you know, in and spawn. That swamp run for miles, okay? And that's where all your fish came. Uh, I'd like to fish oh. from that blind. That's crazy. Phil and them was up there one day in, in the brim. It was just, we, we pulled up and shut the Jeep off, and all you could hear was, and it was just a roar. And what it was was brim feeding on on the mayflies. Yeah. All of it. it was just, just, it's just a roar. It was that. literally millions of big old bluegill and chicky pins. Oh. No, no, I'm serious. I don't know. And I mean, there. hey, I'm talking about a million of them because you could just see them everywhere. And you could probably caught oh, no. all of them. Look, well, not we all first of done bass fishing up there, anything that hit the top of the water. Yeah. Just got the hey, It hit the water, and when it made the ripple, that sounds you'd look over 50 yards, and just a big wave would come be coming. Mm. And just, I mean, I'm, I call them cross-eyed mean that, bass. That just sounds fun. Oh no! It makes me sad because I have no idea where I could well, go to even hey, attempt. Well, hey, Bill, Tommy, and, and whoever else went with them during flood stage, they went up in there, and and they was uh they pulled up from the riverside, 
on that dump and threw over and caught 1,500 <laughs> bass. <laughs> on top water? On top water. Oh, my word. Oh, no. I, we, we, we went up there one summer, okay? Mm. Martin, that's a dream. Oh, no. I I'm thinking about Walmart. it right now. <laughs> I stopped by Walmart, and we what we fished with was chuggers, uh, the big ones. Oh, yeah. Well, I bought everything. They didn't have but five. So I bought all five of them. Because you went Diff- to Walmart. Different colors, you know. So I'll go up there the first time, <laughs> throw it out there, it hit, let, it, let the ripples go away, push, chug, go, boom. About a three pound, one of them cross out of the bass, you know. So I, I reel him in, take him off, and throw it back out there. And as soon as it hit, it, it, it just, it went under. And I, I, you know, it come back up. It was late. Nope. Hey, that bass bit it and crushed it, cracked it. Oh, split your deal. Split split the bait. And this is hard plastic. So, hey, I cut, really didn't cut it off. Put the next one on, same thing. Another three-pounder. Boom. Was the same thing. He he cracked that one. He cracked four in a row. They cracked four in a row now. Good just a bad bunch, of, bad yeah. bunch of plastic. Just mean. Oh, well, well, mean one. Both of them, yeah. So, hey, that last one, I tied that last one on there, and I said, good grief, I'm down to my last bait, boy. I hope he don't. You know, threw it out there, same deal, three-pounder. Boom. This time I just dropped it off the edge of the boat. Okay, it's floating on. Yeah. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> Get back uh, after it, boy. That does sound fun. Oh no. Well oh, that was back. Fifteen hundred when... bass on a chug bug is just a good day. Oh no, what are you talking about? <laughs> One of the other coolest things we've seen up there, we went up there at flood stage. We're going on the dirt roads in there, checking all the spots where the water was about oh anywhere from a foot to eighteen inches deep. Mm-hmm. Coming over the coming over the roads, we come around the bend and looked over there and Phil said, "What is that out there in the woods? It's pigs, wild pigs. Uh oh, about thirty of them. Look, swimming? No, they're all in a line, leaving there. No, no, they're all in a line and they all got their snout stuck down in the water till the water is like right here." Hmm. Phil just shut the stupid truck off, and we sit there for a few minutes. He said, "What is the world is going? What are they doing?" You know, we sit there for a minute, and all of a sudden, one of the biggest one in there just went, "Whoa!" His head was on the water. He come out of the out of the water with a jackfish about this long. Pig fisherman. No, no. And Phil, Phil yelled and busted out loud. He said. Them suckers are fishing. <laughs> he said, can you believe that? They're fishing. He said, and everybody says they're stupid. He said, you got to you gotta be kidding me. Well, they all run around and got on dry ground, and you a uh, fight broke out because they was <laughs> fighting over that big jackfish. Well, Good they finally man. ate him, and then, hey, guess what? Here they come. Lined up again. Stuck them stouts in the, snouts in the water. They was being a pig net. I, I'm, I'm telling you, they lined up about five foot apart. And I mean a straight line. Okay? Smash. So, no, so nothing wasn't going to go in between them. Wow. Huh. But hey. But I, I believe it. I mean, I pig, eat, heard of that. pig eat anything. I don't know. Down, anything. So. No, no. Everything. Deer hunting yeah. up there. Deer hunting. Sitting on a deer stand. Look, here comes the pigs. You know, they're, you know, every once in a while root. Hey. I looked down there, oh, I, I said, oh, what's they going to do with that Congo when they come up on him? Mm-hmm. And I mean, hey, he's a grown one, curled up. Hey, he just flared up like that. All that pig did was just drop it. Yeah. So he just, he, he ate him alive. I love when no. Cy gets fired up <laughs> no, no. about hunting stories oh, no, no. I'm from a you, certain I, spot. Now, hey. now, now does my comment about yesterday make sense when you get to see two brothers? I mean, yeah, he's there, just, like it was. I oh, yeah, oh, remember no. all that old stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh no, look, I'm behind Phil. Always am. Okay, he's the he's leading. I'm back there behind him. Phil ain't ever gonna be second. No, oh no. And the no, words of Phil, second man no. gets bit. No, no, no. look. <laughs> Probably a thousand times, and, and he's barefooted. Okay, yeah, that's what that's what the deal is. He's barefooted, and I, I'm telling you, a thousand times I, that foot goes down. I look over there and I see 
See, just like this, just a black black ring and a white spot in the middle of it. Just all you see is that right there. Mm. And Phil's done moved on, and I'm going, whoa. You know, he's what? I said, hey, you was that far from a Congo. All he did was open that mouth. Mm. Ain't no telling how many times he's almost been there. Oh, no, no. Especially cleaning out them beaver, beaver dams. We went up there and got in a blind moth lake one day. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No, no. It's uh, not one of them. Uh, not one of them. All, it was on Fish Lake because we he, he got out of the he got out in the boat run. Tommy had Tommy had had let us off and went somewhere with the boat. So we'd sit there for about an hour, and Phil looked over at one of them big cypress trees, and he said, "Hey, is that a big old turkey over in that in that in that cypress tree?" And everybody looked and said, "What are you talking about?" He said, "Right over." There. We look every minute, he moves, you know. Says, God, sure is, big old cobbler. You know, Phil said, hey, guess what, boys? Guess what we have for lunch? He said, we, we fix and eat turkey fingers for lunch. <laughs> so look, he, he gets in the boat run, okay, and that turkey waited till he got chest deep. And he was just coming out of the end of the boat run, and we said, Phil, he said, what? I said, guess what? He just flew off the limb. I said, he waited till he saw your ripples, and he left. <laughs> <laughs> it was 18 degrees. Oh. <laughs> and he's and wet. no chest. Because, hey, hey, oh, no, we didn't know what waiters were back in the days. Back okay. when men were men. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Nah. That, that was back about, hey, that's what, that, was the, that was the battle cry. Who's a man? Yeah, and who's always, the man? And I always told him, "Hey, I'm out. I'm a boy." <laughs> yeah. so I said, "You go get that turkey. I'm no. gonna sit right here." By yeah. That oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stay in this warm blind. Yeah. No sir, that's eighty feet off the ground. Yeah. Oh, not fish lake. Uh, oh. B break was the big one. I'm getting. Uh, and uh, moss yeah. lake was what, like yeah. twenty foot, fifteen, twenty. No, foot? no, that moss. was a floater. That, yeah. that time we built that, it was a floater. Yeah. So they, they were all different because like, it was they, always competition. Tommy was on 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 fish lake. Okay, because he was close to B break. That's where all the ducks. Are. We just left that as a sanctuary. Mm -hmm. You know, when we got mad and there wasn't no duck, then we'd hit them, yeah. <laughs> 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 and then we would burn them then. Too. <laughs> Managing pressure, but it was always it was always competition. It was Phil Al Bowling and, and all the drunks. Okay. <laughs> Again. Big Al? Uh, oh, yeah. And Let's go know. see the movie. you get to learn all no, about no. Big hey, Al. Look, and it was, you know, Tommy and his bunch, it, you know, because you know, they'd hear him over on Mall's Lake because they, you know, tell me, hey, throw that whiskey bottle up. Yeah. You know, boom. Because you know, the bottom of Mall's Lake is, you know, off. There's whiskey bottles, thousands of them. You know. <laughs> Old Big wow. Al. He yeah. seems like a rough oh, one. Oh, movie. no, he was an alcoholic. Yeah. Hey. BC, boys. Yeah, BC. Before yep. Christ. Yep. There you go. Well. You want to send us out of here? Yeah. And yeah. hey, remember, we talked about it at the beginning. Go see that movie. Go yeah, go check, out, go check out the Blind Luck. Send us more We're emails. We're not going to steer just... you wrong, even though we're close to them. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a great okay. movie. We always talk about Jesus. It's amazing to see, and I don't even know how to, the devil himself, okay? Jesus took a man that was totally out of control and made him a pretty decent person. <laughs> pretty decent person. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of pretty decent people, I got a Bible <laughs> verse. Uh, Becky, it was great having her in here. You missed her. Uh, uh, but she said she's got a check for you in her office. Oh, but whenever I think what I'm about, talking about right there. Hey, that's why I love that woman. <laughs> but I don't know why this, I do know why this verse made me think of Becky uh, and Harry for all that they've done at Duck Commander. But, Romans thirteen seven. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. And Becky handles all that. But if respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. And Becky is somebody that deserves the honor. Y'all probably never heard her talk until today, but she is a big part of why Duck Commander is what it is today and hasn't gone under many times in the past. Right. Amen. Because no. she right. gets That's why things there's done. no way a good woman behind the man. Oh, ain't no doubt. And, and she's look, one of them. Y'all heard her talk today. You will 
most likely never, never hear, hear from her again. Never hear from her again. Yeah. And if you ever receive an email from her, don't expect more than about six words. Yeah. And no punctuation, yeah. no, no emotion, no feeling. Becky, but, um, Becky don't play. She gets right to the point. Uh, That's right. But okay. To the point. And we she's all a, love her to death. She's a treasure. That's right. And she helps keep this place running. Look, thank you guys for indulging our fun of introducing the rest of the folks at Duck Commander yeah. here to you. And uh, we'll see you all next time right here on the Duck Call Room. We're out. <laughs>